create your profile on our WebGate Plus portal for Rona. In this video, we will address how to create your profile for both DC and DSD with or without a purchase order from Rona. As part of our managed services, your profile will be completed by our customer service department when you set up with EDI Gateway. But if any of the required fields change on your site, you'll be able to go in and modify them by following this simple and short video. First thing we'll need to do is log in to WebGate Plus. To log in to WebGate Plus, please log in with either Internet Explorer or Firefox browsers, as Chrome is not supported by our application. The address is webgate.edigateway.net. Once you have reached the login page, enter your username and your password that was either provided to you by our customer service or the one you already have if you're already using the application. Then click on sign in or enter. Once you are in the tool, you may click on profile. There are three tabs to look at, my information, item list, and my retailers. First, let's fill in my information tab. Click on my information in this section you will need to enter your GST, HST, or PST tax registration numbers. If you do not have an HST registration number, simply repeat your GST in this field, then enter your PST tax registration number. There's no need for you to fill in the manufacturer code or the printer default as there are no MH10 labels required by Rona, but if you do have something written there, if you're using the tool for other retailers that may require, just leave them there. Once you've completed this, click on Save Changes. The second tab within My Information is Addresses. When you click on Addresses, there may be or not be some addresses in this field. Since Rona requires the Build To and the Ship To, and these are completed by our administration tool, there is nothing to enter here for Rona in particular. Rona will take the Remit To from your vendor number when you're transmitting invoices. There is also nothing required in the Carrier section for Rona. Next step is to complete the item list. You may want to create one item at a time, and to do so, you will select Item List, Create New, and then you will enter the information required for Rona. These are your vendor's queue, your UPC, which is a 12-digit number, or an EAN, which is a 13-digit number, this could be one or the other, depending on what you already have. Then your description, the default quantity of what you're shipping, for example, 12 cases, your unit price, and then you will click on OK. If you have multiple items to enter at once, you may want to import a CSV file. In this case, you will click on Import from CSV. This will open a menu where you would have Download CSV Template and Browse for CSV. The first thing you'll need to do is download the CSV template. You'll click on OK. Then you may want to save this somewhere where it's easily accessible. I'll just put this on my desktop and I'll enter Rona template. Once the download is completed, I will access my desktop and retrieve the file. Now I'm opening the file that I saved on my desktop. I will be entering the same SKUs, the same description, and the same UPC, EAN, and information required that if I was creating it one item at a time. So my vendor SKU. You can basically enter as many items as you want on this particular CSV, and then we will import everything at the same time. Then we will enter our UPC, my description, my default quantity, my unit of measure, and then my price. My next step is going to be to select the full range of the spreadsheet, select number format, and then simply save my file. I do want to keep it in the same format, then I will close it. Now I'm back in the tool and I'll want to browse for my CSV template. I'll select it and then I'll simply click on import. This will import the CSV template that I just filled out. If I want to delete an item, I simply select it, right-click, and select Delete. If I want to edit a certain item, I will right-click and click on Edit. Then I'm able to modify, for example, if my price has changed, then I'll click on OK. Some Rona vendors need to enter a product group. To do so, 
you will select your item, you will right click, and you will select create retailer specific copy. Then you will scroll down and make sure you select Rona. The retailer code is your SKU, your description, the price, and then your product group. And click on OK. There'll be a small plus for the ones that there is a retailer specific information entered. Your next step is to click on My Retailers. Clicking on My Retailers will bring you to specific information you need for each of the retailers. Select Rona in the drop down menu. Very minimal information required for Rona. That information would be the vendor number. That would be very important. This is supplied to you by Rona. And the other information required for Rona would be your terms of sale. So for Rona, if your terms are 2% minus 14 days, net 30, for example, you would be filling these fields here. In the terms type, you need to select basic and term spaces date code is either from the invoice date or from the ship date. In this case, we'll leave it at invoice date. Then you will scroll to the bottom and click on save. Congratulations, you have completed your profile settings required for Rona. You're now ready to watch our video on how to receive your purchase orders and how to create your invoices for Rona. Here is how to reach us. And from all of us at EDI Gateway, thank you for watching.